Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a little 10-12 uh, minute workout, a little routine you can do around the house. That'll sort of do a little bit for everything in your body and get yourself into the best space for the day. I'm just going to start off here, down in my hands, in my plank position. I'm going to start off with my spider lunge. I'm just going to step up like this and try to stretch out. If you can't get all the way up with your foot, just step up as far as you can. Ultimately, we wanna see if we can get that foot all the way up to the hand if I can. Stretch out those inner thighs and hips. Stretching that out. Open up the back knee. Open it up to the sky. You wanna to try to open up that back leg. Now I'm just gonna switch to stepping in between my hands. It's a little bit harder to get the foot between the hands. It's a little bit, you need a little bit more flexibility. And again, if you can't get your foot all the way up, that's okay. Just pull it up as far as you can. Just working on stepping up between my hands, stretching out those inner thighs. Stretching out those hips, working on my hip flexors. <clears throat> if you need to take a break anytime, just take a break. I'm doing these things for 30 seconds or a minute. This is my interval. I'm just using a 30 or 60 second interval. My clock's chiming on 30 second intervals. Just gonna add a little rotation, a little twist. A little twist makes all the difference. Stepping up rotating stepping up between my hands if I can rotate twist my body step up between my hands rotate twist my body <clears throat> now I'm going to add a push up so I'm going to step up step up and push up try that step up the push-up doesn't have to be so big it could just be a little push-up if you like if you can do the full push-up awesome do your best push-up in between step up step up push up how about this one i'm gonna try and jump my legs up See if I can jump my legs up. If you can get your hands off the ground, awesome. If you can get your feet to flat, awesome. Or if you can only get to here and jump back, awesome. Do your best. How about we add a little twist? Jump, twist, 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 twist. And we can twist with the legs out back and jump in and jump back. Twist, twist, twisting through the body, opening up the body, just catching my breath. The body gets tight from sitting, sitting all day, driving in the car, sitting. These muscles become tight, the pelvis loses its ability to contract and tilt and we lose mobility in the hips we get tight we get sore backs shoulders and necks we need to open up the body just grabbing my mat i'm just going to drop down on my knee and i'm just going to work into a forward lunge stretch here just forward lunging and stretching out that area, pushing into the hips. It gives us more mobility. It'll be better when we try to do any sort of stretching or strengthening exercise. Pushing into my hips, opening up my hips, and then also turning my leg, and then I'm sort of getting 
like a sideways push, right? So like a forward push on my hips, right? A forward push on my hips and then twisting and getting a sideways push on my hips, opening up my hips. Just pushing into it, pressing into whatever feels tight today and just gently opening, pushing the knee open. I'm twisting open my inner thighs and hips. Same thing on the other side. First, just starting with that forward lunging. Just forward lunging, trying to push my hips forward, trying to stretch out into my hips there. Stretching out my hip flexor in the back. Forward lunging, then turning my leg so that now it's like a sideways action. Opening the body this way and giving a little gentle rotation, a little outward pull on my knee as I lean forward into that stretch. Just opening up my hips. Dropping down to continue warming up through the hip flexors and the core, I'm just working into some abdominal work, some core abdominal work all through the center of the body, trying to keep my legs straight, trying to keep my legs straight, trying to open my ankles, right? Trying to point my toes, right? Lifting through the middle, through the core, pulling up, drawing up the belly pulling in and up the belly, pulling up the core. Just breathing there, breathing and pulling through the core, just pumping the body, waking up the body, moving, breathing, and taking some physical action, a little mental action, just taking your focus to your breath, and tuning into yourself for a second. What's wrong with that, right? Why can't we take a little bit of time away from the nonsense around and really focus on the possibilities that we've got within ourselves? Just adding a little bit of flexibility, reaching past my toes if I can, right? A little stretch past my toes if I can, opening up the back of my legs, opening up my back, opening up my hamstrings, breathing, breathing, stretching, lengthening my body. Next one here, I'm going to put my hands down and I'm going to try, what, two legs coming up at the same time. Wahoo! Push down through the hands to activate the forward pull, the upper abdominals pushing down and then pulling up the belly, drawing in the belly and lifting from the lower abdominals or the pelvic floor. It's like you're pulling the shoulders to the hips or the hips to the shoulders. Drawing in the tummy. Ah, oh, great workout for the core putting my legs wide, just continuing with flexibility. Hamstring stretch. That's great flexion. Look, let's add a bend, right? Flexion and rotation in the body. Rotate the spine, rotate the spine. Lean, lean. How about my hands in the center and I'm gonna try, whoop, Lifting the legs again if I can through the center, through the core. Pushing down with that upper body, pulling through that lower body. Core flexion, flexion and breathing. You wanna breathe through these core exercises. They'll balance your body and your breath and your mental focus for the day. Give you a little mental, physical reset. Check out this one, rotation through my hips. Here's my 90-90. It's like I got one leg bent at 90, another leg bent at 90. 
and then I'm just switching one side to the other side, flipping the knee over. Look at that, rotation through the leg bone, through the femur, I'm rotating my femurs. You gotta put a little twist in the body. When we've been sitting in the same positions and walking the same way and doing the same things, every single day the body gets tight. Body and mind get stuck in rigid patterning. We want to break the pattern. We want to open up the body with some rotation, with some core, with some breath work, a little change of focus and mind. Look at this one here. I'm going to try and lift. See that I'm, I'm adding another rotation, right? I'm rotating through the lower body. I'm internally rotating now further, trying to lift that. How about lift the knee and you can try to rotate open the hip that way that external rotation you can give it a little bit of a pull if you want on that side a little just a little gentle pumping and twisting on the body working through the core same thing on the other side first just try and lift up lift up that back foot heel rotate through the lower leg and then rotate lifting up opening up this way opening up internal external rotation through the lower body twisting waking up warming up coming to life let's try one more twist here in this position i can twist this way also so i want to work on twisting my torso here just rotating into my hip you know we get tight hips and then we get tight backs and necks and then we have pain in our bodies and we lose function and then you wonder why your shoulder or your elbow bothers you when you golf or when you bowl or when you play tennis or when you try to hang out with your kids you're, you're not feeling like your body's recovering its best. All because we're out of balance, asymmetrical. Just coming here to work on my core, again, in the boat pose. If you gotta put the hands down, awesome, put the hands down. Look, I'm in my boat pose, awesome. Just hold your boat pose. Awesome, working on my core. If you gotta touch, touch. If you wanna add, the legs at the legs, double legs, right? Maybe 10, 10 single legs, 10 double legs, right? What can you do? Boat pose, kicking through the center, working on my core, working on myself, working on my balance, working on my breathing. Dropping back down here, I'm gonna work on a little roll through my back and some flexibility. A little roll, tuck, and a little flexibility there. Just pulling and pushing. A little pulling and pushing on the body. A little stretching and strengthening the body. Waking up the body. All right, let's try another one here. How about hands out wide? I'm gonna try and pull those legs. Whoa, can I get those legs all the way up over my head? If you can't get them all the way up, maybe you can only get them to 90 degrees, awesome. If you want, you can also put your hands under your bottom if you need some extra support. 90 degrees is awesome. And if you wanna to go to one leg at a time, one leg at a time is awesome. Just do your best. Do what's best for you. It's not about killing yourself. It's really about giving yourself a little bit of a start in the right direction again for the day. It's like, I gotta get up and make a commitment to the very best 
version of me. Guys, there's a little 10 minute workout for you. Something you can do around the pool. Get yourself ready for spring and summer this year. Have yourself a super awesome, terrific day.